uh, named Jimmy L. B. Howe from the state of Maine, and he wishes uh, his best regards to all of you tonight on the 22nd annual convention of Bordeaux wine enthusiasts. And uh, thank you for everyone here. So, uh, for those, we have many people who are new here tonight, and we have many people who have been here for literally 22 years. And uh, for those of you who have been here longer, you know that this is the moment when we uh, give our sort of sentimental speech, and uh, we have a fellow from up in Quebec City, uh, yes. Nicolas Maltese. He has, he has messaged me, and he gives his warmest regards from Quebec uh, and all of his love. Nick was one of the very first uh, participants in our very first convention of BWE back in uh, Chicago in 2001. And uh, that was our first convention after we formed our group in February of 2000. And uh, we all know this is an incredibly, incredibly special group. And uh, sometimes we have 20 plus people in the room. Sometimes we have 100 plus people in the room. But we are a group that has stayed together for now going into our third decade through all of the travails of everything we've experienced in the world. And we've had conventions in different cities. The very first was in Chicago, then we were in Napa, then New York in 2003. And we've been in Dallas and Miami and uh, San Francisco and Sonoma and France a couple of times. And uh, London, then, London. <laughs> London. Oh, we haven't yet. But. Uh, Chicago, Denver, Denver. <laughs> I'm sure I'm missing Even one Dallas. or two. Dallas, Dallas, yeah. Dallas. Washington, Washington. <laughs> we've been to Washington DC many <laughs> times and uh, you know it's uh, I'm just you know a humble lawyer from Maine and uh, I just am, am absolutely amazed at the incredible friendships that we've had over the years. Uh, we've had people who have had children, people who have had deaths in their families. We've had people that we've, very, very close friends that we've lost. We lost Dennis Bates early on, who was just a uh, major participant in our site. And then of course, Papa Doc, John Dawson, uh, who we were very, very close to. Uh, we lost him a few years ago, and in the meantime, we've had people who've had babies and grandchildren, and uh, it's been just uh, an enormously rewarding and uh, wonderful experience. And uh, I can never let uh, any of these uh, post -con convention speeches pass by without uh, acknowledging my. Uh, two friends, uh, uh, Bill Johnson and and Jan from uh, College Station, Texas, um, who I'm just so so close to because you know they they've been there from day one. Uh, we I, again I I just feel like I have to sort of repeat what happened on the morning of February 26, 2000. I woke up. And this was in the sort of still the early ages, early days of, of the internet. The iPhone was still about eight years away. People weren't transferring photographs back then. You really have to go back 22 years in time. And I woke up one morning and I just, MSN said, you can create your own website. And it, it, it created this, it had this little sort of blog type function where you could post something and people could respond. And I thought this would be really neat if, uh, you know, we created, you know, you could post what you thought of an 89 Lynch and people could respond. And that's what we did. And I thought we'd have like six people who would be part of our little club, you know? And within 48 hours, it just 
grew exponentially. And Bill was one of the very first, and he brought in uh, Jan, AKA Lucy, and then Michael Palmieri, who's here tonight, was one of our first members in that 48 hour period of, I always refer to it as genocide. And I was gonna get to you, I was gonna get to you. Uh, Winona Chief, Winona Chief, with Marjorie, and and it just grew. It was like the, you know, it's like the Beatles. You know, we just were like in the right place at the right time. Seriously, because within a year, we felt like we had this really this connection. There was something, and we had never met. Nobody met each other, but. All these faceless people met in Chicago in a year later, February of 2001. We had no, we didn't know what each other looked like. We didn't know we hadn't talked to any. We didn't know what our voices sounded like. But we just met about I think it was 27 of us, about the size of a group, and we just instantly bonded. And we and uh, it was just like it was magic. It was a spark that has lasted through, you know, terrorist attacks and financial crisis and, um, you know, you name it, a political crisis and all the travails of, of the world. And we have this oasis here that we can always come back to, no matter how crazy our days are, whether you're a lawyer or a doctor or financial or whatever, you can always come back to BWE and you're just dealing with normal people who are friends, and we see each other once a year, or sometimes for longer periods, and it's like we saw you <laughs> yesterday. And it's wonderful, it's just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm amazed <laughs> by all of it. You here, know? Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. The what? I'm, yes, and I was I was just going to actually get to that. And by by 2003, a couple of years later, was you know by then 9/11 had happened, and that was kind of a, actually a, an event that it impacted DWE. I was actually posting on DWE that morning, that horrible morning, with Michael P. And we were just communicating back and forth, and then all of a sudden we said, whoa, something terrible has just happened. And the internet shut down, and Michael said, you know, we were, we were instantly, uh, you know, living life in real time. And our, we committed ourselves at that point to get involved with uh, New York City. And by 2003, we had our major uh, 2003 convention. We had over 100 people there. We had the media following us. Rudy was in the room. With, <laughs> with, Rudy was sitting right next to me. Sorry, Rudy Giuliani? No. <laughs> no. Not that Rudy. Rudy it was a different Rudy. Rudy was sitting right next to me. He was very, very nice, very nice young man. He, he, he handed me a DRC, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, and and the anonymous benefactor Tom Weddle brought you know 36 bottles of 1982 uh, Bordeaux at at his cost. And it was one of the most epic moments with Gail. And uh, yes, let's, uh, I, I'll always. I even had Robert Parker himself uh, acknowledging us for that. But anyway, so uh, now we've moved along through the years and the decades, and now we're all a little, what's that? I, I, I just, so imagine you're there. You're like a wine, sorry, my back's a little. Sorry. You're a wine lover and, and a Bordeaux lover. And there's this Bordeaux wine enthusiast site and people are posting these notes and so forth. And you're, you are as well. And, and you're short, sharing comments and, and you know identifying similar kinds of tasting notes with you know, certain wines and, and this connection of you know, who is, you know, Jim likes this kind. I understand his notes now better. Just like you're looking at critics' comments, right? To, compared to your own. 
And then all of a sudden, you know, I know none of these people. Nobody knows any of these people. They say, we're going to have this convention in Chicago. Please mail your payment to this guy yeah. who, you don't, who you don't know, right? Because the guy's name on the website is, you know, XYZ. What's up? Right? Is what's up. Exactly. That was his name. And now you're na mailing a check to some guy by the name of Ben Nelson, who you have no idea. Yeah. And now, and then you buy a plane ticket from California to Chicago and you book a hotel. And then the morning of, you're supposed to show up with your two. Expensive, of course, Bordeaux bottles, and give it to some guy in his hotel room at 10 a.m. <laughs> and you knock on the door, and the guy opens the door, and he's in his underwear, <laughs> unshaven. He looks like a hungover, you know, college kid. Or and that's where it's supposed to be. So you give him the wine, and then, you know, seven hours, ten hours later, or whatever it is, you go up to the 32nd floor, whatever the Hancock building is. Yeah. I forget, 58. Uh, right. Down right. Right. Thank you. And then you walk in thinking, you know, is this going to be an empty room and just a scam? Some bum got my wine and some other guy got my money. But indeed, everybody, these people were there and they were amazing, like, like tonight. <laughs> He's not exactly. That's, that's exactly the way it went. Did you declare him at the bottom of the scene? That's the thing. All they were all offline. They were all mother rapers and father rapers. Yes. Right? yes. <laughs> okay. So he's so, not exaggerating. So I first showed up in one of these so things in Chicago in 2004 oh, that was with a very similar <laughs> circumstance. Yeah. People that just were names on the internet and and it's like i'll just show up there and it's like oh by the way and so it's like so i went to the dinners on the thursday night and the friday night and saturday night. and it was just like oh it was so easy these were all people that i felt totally at home with it was not like it was strange at all it was like oh yeah you just talk to the random person that happens to be sitting next to you and it's like Oh, you know, it's like you have these conversations, and it's like, oh, this is great. It's wonderful. It's just like the first time I met these two people here. You know, it's like it was like, no, there's nothing strange about that. These are real, normal, interesting people. And it was just yeah. like that is exactly what it was like with everybody you that you met from the internet. That's you know, and it's just because people would have Literally, all these horrible the stories about sure. things that happened on the internet. Of, you know, but it was like, but it, but it was wine people, and it was like everything was like, oh, this is cool. It's like, I mean, I I heard Harry Cantrell's name for, you know, ten or fifteen years before I actually met him. You know, but it's like, and oh, he's so that's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it all worked out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, I mean, that's, I, I can't really explain the uh, the chemistry and the dynamic. I mean, Harry's been there around for, since day one, almost, Close. right? Yeah, and others as well. And uh, so now, as we've gone through the uh, generations, we've got a newer group, and that includes, uh, I refer to him as Young Joel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's Aaron. It's my uh, my vice benevolent dictator was not here so that he had to bow out at the last minute, David, uh, because of health reasons. But certainly Joel has uh, been a major, major contributor, Marcus. Um, and uh, so anyway, we uh, Gail came up with this uh, great idea the other Thursday night. She says we got to give Joel a uh, little gift for everything that he's done. I mean, this is not, we know, some of us who have organized this know that these are not I bought the bag. easy <laughs> things. The bag. I took credit for the bag. This is Gail. Gail bought the bag, and we uh, we got a nice little <laughs> bottle of wine. It's a little high in alcohol for you, Joel. But 2010 Trill Island, no? It's a, it's a 2010. It's a 2010. And it's close to Trill Wow. It's, a, it's like you know us or something. I, I you know we can we All are right, here on the oh, internet. I'll, go ahead, right go now. ahead. Thank you, thank you. Oh, th thank and, you very much. And uh, uh, yeah. 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 seriously, uh, oh, all right, Can right, okay. almost. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this good, <laughs> uh, it's a fifteen percent <laughs> alcohol. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. The guys didn't want to buy that. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Yes. So, Joel. No, seriously, seriously. 
Seriously, Joel, uh, immense thanks for everything you've done yes. here. Yes. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> I'll say a thing or two. Uh, you know, I, I, I love that you guys appreciate me for this, and I, you know, I'm happy to do it. I love to do it. This is. A lot of fun, and you guys have been. Say that after 10 years. I'm, yeah. well, uh, I'm saying it now after, after 30 two or three, years. So, you know, years. call me on that in, in, in seven or eight more. That, that's that. fine if you want. Um, but it, it's kind of like a family. It's like this whole little. Like, there's all the forums. It, you know, there's the wine berserkers. There's all the places. And, you know, the. the Bordeaux Wine Enthusiasts is, is a little bit more like a family. And it, it's, just, it's just great. We don't, we don't always love each other. We all. We fight a little bit, but. <laughs> it feels more intimate in a, in a, in a good way, and, and, and you guys have brought me in, and I, it, it, it's propelled my wine <laughs> love so much, so much more, so much more quickly than than uh, I would have even expected myself. And so, Jim's been a big part of that, and inviting me in, and all these events, and just even just talking on the internet. Like I had, I'd only zoomed with Michael P. and Nolan. Like, hey guys, I'm, I'm gonna be out in Napa. Like, let's go see you guys. And I know Jay's not here, but I go see him when my sister lives right 10 minutes from Jay. And I go see them, and it, it's just great. And it, it's just kind of more like a family. And we all have our similar interests. And we were talking about this at our table. Would we, would we have been friends or met otherwise outside of? Probably not. And that's, that's actually really cool. If anything, that, that's really cool. And we, if anything, we, we develop friendships with people that we wouldn't have been otherwise. We find commonalities and we're actually friends even outside of wine with, with, with all of you and so I, I've been it's been great to invite a few of our kind of our usual DC crew to kind of enjoy uh, to, to, to join with us tonight and that's, that's you know Eric and Jim and Brian and Dave and you know and it's, it's been great Peter of course and, and it's been great and so it's, it's good to combine a lot of things so I thank you guys all for coming out and I'm, I'm happy to more than happy to take care of the, the organizing and stuff like that. That's to me. That's you know, it's just totally not. Even, it's just totally worth it. It's not even doesn't even rate to me. So in terms of that, so appreciate you guys all coming out and Ooh, thank, thank you for this. It's very you. nice. So. You're welcome. Young girl. Young girl. We even have people from Colum Columbus, Ohio. Chris, of course, you can't forget. Chris. Yes, <laughs> Chris and Marcus. I'm trying to Chris, 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 Chris and Marcus right. are like part of our usual. They're so usual part of our DC crew. I don't even like think to like mention them. Mm. There's, there's, there's part of our crew. Like that. actually. Just, I, I went to a, a Zaki's dinner, uh, or a Zaki's tasting in downtown DC. What was it, about five years ago, Joel? Uh, no, less is three. It was like three or four years yeah. ago. 